Once we have linked our divs and our headings in our CSS, we're going to put in some declarations. A declaration that's going to be a piece of code which identifies how you want your website to look. This could affect things like color, font size, font weight, or things like that. Please note that if you are writing the word color because you're wanting to change a color, you must use the American spelling. To add color and color backgrounds to your website, make sure that you open your three HTML and one CSS pages in Notepad+. We are going to link a background image into your website. To do this, follow the instructions in your workbook. Next, we're going to place a placeholder color in each of the divs. This we're using background, color, and white. Once you've done this, save your changes. Hopefully by now you've identified the intention of the website. It's meant to be able to be edited by you in the future by changing different elements around. For example, once we've completed the website, you might be given an activity where you need to change the background color to a certain type of color. To do this, all we'd do is change the word white to yellow or blue or something like that. 